too long, conservation was about the West telling the East what to do. Now, as the West struggles to coexist with carnivores again, what can we learn from the East about living with nature? A team of leading Nepali and Irish conservationists have come together in search of the elusive snow leopard of the Himalaya, seeking answers on how this delicate equilibrium between people and predators can be achieved. When it's not about and the horrors have overlapping habitat, there is definitely a conflict because it's not leopard often kills livestock. This is what makes all the conservation very complicated. Snow leopards depend on a healthy population of wild prey. When there are plenty of blue sheep, snow leopards are less likely to kill livestock. Now I have four cameras. We found 14 snow leopards from the camera trap. We know they're close by and although we haven't seen them yet, we're absolutely certain that they've seen us. What do you think happened here, Tash? This is the little chase from iron, and it trend down here. So you can see the, the Pakma that is around here. She's out there somewhere, just waiting to cross the river and go back to the kill. This will be a first for me and most of the team. So we are on tenter hooks, just hoping that a snow leopard creeps into view amidst the beautiful backdrop of the Annapurna Massif. It's not only because of the snow leopard, it's also because of the people, because of the culture. Tourism brings many benefits, income for locals, less reliance on agriculture, so people have less livestock, meaning less losses to snow leopards. But as Nepal develops rapidly, and as the effects of climate change worsen, how can this fragile balance between nature and human nature be maintained? Coexistence is a journey rather than a destination. I think it's something we always need to work on. To build our knowledge, to improve the understanding about the importance of the predator in the ecosystem. Snow Leopard Trail follows a team searching for solutions, for ways to truly coexist with carnivores in our natural world, before it's too late. Hope is what keeps us alive.